All right, here with Highland Springs four-star defensive back Malcolm Green as the Springers won a hard-fought 13 to 6 game tonight. All right, Malcolm, I know they hit you for a couple plays early, but you responded, got a nice pass, break up a lot of tackles tonight. How did it feel to finish up strong after a sluggish start? Felt really good. We just knew that our whole team had to keep out the poison, play sport of football, be competitive, and fight for the win. We knew nothing was going to be given to us out here. Malcolm Green's different. Illegal things going on, but I'm not gonna speak on it. Okay. But we just knew we had to fight for it, keep our composure, play our game, really. It's really a game of interest because on that play that they got you over the top, you could have had a pick. Yes, sir. Just to judge the wrong position wise or what happened? Uh, I was going up for the ball, and the other receiver that was over there kind of threw me down to the ground in the, when I was in the air. The other guy went up for the ball. I knew the call wasn't gonna go in my favor though, but you gotta expect the unexpected, really, to be comfortable in bad situations. Yeah, and you bounced back, didn't get up another big play like that. Oh, my. How do you describe this game one more? It's pretty. What do you think about that? How, how did y'all bring this one out? We showed that we, our uh, young guys showed that we had fight, and we all came together and just made sure that we could find a way to get the win. We listened to the coach's game plan and just abide by the rules and be competitive, really. Just keep our composure at all times. Moving to 2-0 in that search for history, five in a row. Yes, sir. How's it feel to know it's two games down, eight to go? You know? Yes, sir. We got a lot of competitive games on the way. This is one out of the way. We need to fight this one out. We gotta fight it out every single week. Win every single, win every single week we can. Win every single week we're gonna, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fight for it every week. We're gonna practice hard. We're gonna play hard. Do everything we gotta do to win. And that's all we wanna do. This is really built build, uh, build as a battle of Virginia. You know, 4 versus 7 by 7 How's yes, the field come down to 7 by 7 Beat the powerhouse to come out for it. Yes, sir. We know. We talk, we saw it a lot over on social media. A lot of guys on their team talking trash. The whole 757 really came out today. We just had to make sure that we fought it out and take it back to the 804 because we knew 804 football is always going to be better than 757 football, no matter what everybody else say. Hey, 31 straight County. Give us a quick update on your recruiting. I know you got a lot of options and offers. Any business sir. plan lined up here? What, what's the latest? Yes, sir. I got some official business coming soon. Okay. Probably starting the next two weeks. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff coming up. Recruiting is really heating up right now. A lot of new schools also showing interest. In Who are some of those? Georgia, Alabama, Syracuse. In Illinois, a lot of new schools. Florida State also showing interest now, and I see I see in the future that they will offer. But my official business are going to come up soon, and the crew is heating up. I'm glad that no schools are just leaving out on me. I have everything that I want to have. And lastly, you know when you want to decide uh, before or after you hopefully get that state championship ring, or what's kind of the outlook? I want to make sure I decide before the season is. Okay. I want to make sure I go into the off season, be able to get my schoolwork done, pay attention, and. Have be ready for signing day because I'm gonna sign early and it's gonna be a big day for me and my family. I think one last one for you. You're so young, you're up in high school. What's it like navigating this whole recruiting process while going to class? While having to deal with all the things high school kids have to deal with. What's it like navigating this big time recruiting process? This could be a big decision for life. Actually, one of the biggest decisions I've ever had yet. Make sure I keep my composure. My mom and dad always tell me to keep my composure in all situations. And think before I do anything. Listen, learn, learn from all situations where I make a huge decision. But it's going to come up and I can't wait to make it. Well, great job from Malcolm. We're in the spring. They moved to 2-0, 31 and County on the drive for five. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Good job. Yep.